few years back, my friend gave me the key to his house and I decided to go in as I please, as he said I could. And one day, he was taking a shower and he was singing in the shower and I heard him sing a rap song. He is of the caucus variety. He is from the mountains of caucus. He specifically said every lyric in this rap song. That rap song had a few unsavory words in it. He was saying every single word in it. Upon exiting the shower, he noticed that I was in his house playing his PlayStation 4. He said, oh, KK, I'm so sorry. Did you hear me singing in there? I said, yeah, you were saying the N word a lot. He said, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. When I'm at home alone, I, I just say whatever I want to. I said, that's fair. You can say it around me. He said, no, that doesn't feel right. And I said, why say it in the privacy of your house? If you don't want to say it around me. I am actively that. You could say it around me. I don't care. We're friends. We're not online. We're in real life. This is a real experience, man. You don't really got to do that. He said, really? Okay, then my, and then he said the word. And I said, cool. Thank you. I trust you now. He said, what? I said, I don't trust you unless you say it. He said, well, why don't you trust me unless I say it? Because you're hiding. You're hiding who you are. You're hiding yourself. Why should I trust you if you don't say it? When you say it in the sanctity and safety of your home, do you not trust me? Well, I, there's just so much in the world that I don't care about that. I don't care about the world. This is Detroit, Michigan. It's not the world. This is a city. This is an interaction between two people. I don't care about the world at all. I think fear takes over people's fun decision making really i think it does i think there's some societal stopping point and i want to get rid of that for people now i'm in no way advocating for everybody to just start dropping the word on people that's a bit psychotic i think it's crazy but i personally if we're friends in real life do not trust you no matter what race you are if you do not say it i don't trust you why don't i trust you i still think you're a great person i think you're fun to be around Hell, I go to your birthday, I will help you out with your rent if I have the money, I really will. I will do all that, but I trust you a bit less. There's a level of trust I just don't have with you, if you don't say it. There are a few friends that I have in real life that say it, mainly one. Actually, just one, actually. The rest don't. He's the only white guy that I trust, really. Because I know he says that in the privacy of his house. I know that if he's hearing a song... And he hears the lyrics and he's thinking about the lyrics of the song. He's thinking of the words. It's a hip hop song and it says the word in it. My friend tried to convince me that they listen to songs and automatically filter it out and have always filtered out the word their entire lives. That is the craziest, most psychotic babble I've ever heard in all of my days. You're telling me your whole life you've been culturally aware? You've been societally and morally correct your whole life? They said, yep. You're just lying. That you're just lying straight to my face. You said it at least once just to feel how it feels. It's a fun word. It's a fun word. Is it not? I think it's a great word. I'm not going to say it during this video because I want to stay monetized. But it's a fun word to say. I think that if you value a friendship person to person. And don't care about a moral superior high ground that you people want to die on for some stupid, weird, ins insufferable reason. Where you need to be a great person all the time. You don't need to be a great person all the time. You don't need to. No one is a good person or a great person all the time. No one is. We have all made mistakes. If you can't be around your friends and do fun jokes that are not culturally acceptable or great. If you can't do that around your friends, where can you do it? You need an outlet. But you don't have to make those jokes. But nope. It's not realistic. Well, some people don't do that. That's fair for them. I'm so happy that those people do not do that. That is great for them. Personally, I do. Personally, I want to say the words I want to say. Offline, I want to say whatever I feel like. If it's not being recorded, I'm fine to do whatever I want to. If I'm always being monitored and having every small minutia thing picked apart like I'm pinned to the dish like a butterfly, I refuse. That is a horrible existence to live where you have to be culturally aware of everybody's triggers and words and things of that variety all the time. At that point, just leave me alone. Let me say what I want. At that point, why? I don't trust you if you don't say it. So you only trust black people? Nope. I've been on Overwatch lobby. And a person immediately called me the hard R. Immediately. He couldn't tell if I was black or not because of the cadence of my voice. However, he immediately felt the spiritual Negroism throughout the 
call we had as I played Mercy. He felt it. He felt the fact that there was some Africanism inside of my soul. He felt the Africa in me. He said, hmm, I smell Negro. I said, hmm, what's going on? He smelt it. And he called me it. I said, that's pretty funny. He said, really? You think it's funny? I said, yeah. And he just kept saying, he said, boom, 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 boom. He just said it like in a row, 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 row. And I said, yeah, that's pretty funny. Would you like to get on point and move the package and we can go and get on objective? He said, yeah, actually, I do. Yeah, let's do that. And I healed him most of the game because he's a really good Roadhog. He said, hey, man, you're really good at the game. I said, no problem. And he said, I'm sorry for the... And I said, don't be sorry because that's how you are. That's what you wanted to say. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not even going to ban you. I'm not going to report you or nothing. You say what you want to say. You want to play a game again? He said, yeah. He stopped calling me that word, but I know he says it. He thought that about me. I love to know people's true thoughts about me. I love to know them. Oh, I really do. I don't even care if it's bad or good. I really don't. I just want to know what people think about me. I just want I just don't want there to be any hidden motive behind anything, right? Can I not have the hidden aspect of conversation, especially for friends? For homies, if we're pals, if we're buddies, if we're comrades, if we're Soviet members, if we're both just in the same nomenclature, can we just get that out the way? Now my wife doesn't say it. She is Caucasian. She does not say it. Do I trust her less? A little bit. Anyways, there's also a bunch of people in my life that just refuse. They say it's not a fun word to say, which is a blatant lie. It is one of the most fun words to say. Society deemed that you can't say it. Now, I am, I am not telling you to go out and just start dropping a word. So you listen to some random dude on the internet because you think my opinions are cool. You're a psychopath. Don't do that. But me personally, I made this YouTube as a diary. And I'm going to say what I feel like I need to say. If you have friends where you can't joke about things or if you're scared to upset them in some capacity, are they really friends you feel free around? Are they really friends you feel like you can express yourself truly and honestly with without ridicule, without rejection? That feels scary to not be able to express yourself in a way that feels correct, does it not? Isn't that horrifying to do where you have your entire life, you're thinking to yourself, oh, okay, well, I guess I can't say this, or I, I, I can't say that, well, I guess I can't do that. What can you do? It doesn't feel fun to exist in that world where you're restricted upon everything you do. I think that if you're my friend in real life, and if any of my friends in real life ever see this video, just know, I expect you to say it. If you say it in the privacy of your own home, if you listen to a rap song, say it to me. If you've never said it, by all means. I went to Japan one time. That's all they called me. As a matter of fact, it was such a common phrase when I went to Saitama, Japan. When I was in Osaka, G Willikers, they kept saying it to me. When I was in Kyoto, oh my god, they kept saying it to me. When I was on Jeju Island in South Korea, they kept saying it to me. When I was in Beijing, China, they said it to me. When I was in Thailand, they said it to me. When I was in Germany, they said it to me. When I was in Australia, in Sydney, and Melbourne, they said it to me. When I was in Windsor, when I crossed the bridge over to Detroit, they said it a lot. They don't care. Except in America. It's like a taboo word because of the history of it. We've taken the word back and we've given it power and made it cool and now we restrict everybody from saying it. We've taken the word back. Feels so good to do that. I, however, want people to say it because I think it'd be funny. I prefer something to be funny than to be culturally or socially correct. I like things that are funny. That's just how I operate. That's all I got.